Hi, welcome to my reflective video of APD, where I will be showcasing all of my works produced this semester. Throughout the 12 weeks of tinkering and rapid iterations, I was able to carry out various responses in a playful and unconventional way. Although I have developed some new ways of thinking, I also recognize a couple of emergent themes and reproaches among my work. As Philippe O'Connor stated, Play is a human instinct associated with abilities of abstract reasoning and socializing. This inherited skill allows us to recognize patterns, but also think creatively to recontextualize objects and form new ideas. I was deeply influenced by the concept of recontextualizing. Take a common object and immediately start thinking about how to turn it into something weird or funny has become one of my habits. As we grow up, we are slowly shaped to be fit into the society by rules and restrictions. Going against the design rules and thinking outside the box has really encouraged me to reassess the world through the lens of play. For play and sound, I approach this theme as an amateur Foley artist. I combine the sound of nature and technology by adding Google Home sound effects in mushroom picking. For play and abstract, I drew various items found in my house with my eyes closed and recreated something new with those drawings. For player nature, I did a leaf racing in the creek where I pretended it to be a long racing track. I also noticed that I like to create physical and interactive objects. For play and body, I made a 45 page palm sized flip book displaying one of my repetitive habits, which is constantly biting my lips. For play and time, I made a clock out of foam sheets in which the clock hands can be rotated around to show an animation. For play and object, I made a two-player blind chess game using hairballs and paper rolls. For play and forces, I put together a pen and a lamp to experiment drawing using the force of gravity. During the weekly productions, I have also realized I took the opportunity to dive in some new areas. For play and place, I made an HTML game called Spotting Monsters, where the goal is to explore and spot the hidden monsters using the mouse. For play and body, I reenacted other people's memories through a series of body movements. For play and stillness, I put together a series of freeze frame shots of falling flower petals to capture the beauty of stillness. Overall, I really enjoyed APD and I think it was a rewarding experience. I learned to get out of my comfort zone and I was able to reconnect with nature and friends. Sharing responses with my peers has also broadened my horizons. In order to further develop the skills I learned in this class, I will continue to make and create in a novel and unconventional way. Be silly, be free, and enjoy every little moment of creation. And that's what play is all about. Thanks for watching.